999. Standard text messaging rates apply. And we are just about set for our opening bout of the night, a welterweight special attraction scheduled for 10 rounds as Carlos Abregu fights Richard Gutierrez. That is 31-year-old Richard Gutierrez, who has a crowd-pleasing style, and he's got great motivation to win tonight. He's 0-2-1 in his last three fights, though don't let that mislead you. They were all give-and-take affairs, and he performed very well in them. This Colombian native who trains in Miami says nothing short of a knockout will do tonight. Across the ring, Argentine Carlos Abregu, an undefeated 26-year-old, ranked sixth by the WBC and tenth by the IBF. Showbox, the new generation, had featured Abregu twice. And in his May 2009 fight with Irvin Garcia, it was a classic. He had to get off the canvas twice to stop Garcia. This fight, Gus, is not for the faint of heart. The arena of Monterey, here in Monterey, Mexico. We are ready for our co-feature tonight, scheduled for 10 rounds at 147 pounds, the welterweight division, Abregu, Gutierrez, and the tail of the tape. As we look at this, you see the height and reach is for Abregu. However, Gutierrez is so effective at getting on the inside, I don't know if that height and reach will be a major advantage for Abregu. And the WBC rules for tonight. With no standing eight count, no three knockdown rule. Only the ref can stop the fight. You can't be saved by the bell in any round. And, of course, if there is a clash of heads that ends the fight before round four, it's a technical draw. After that, they would go to the scorecards. Now, tonight's fights here in Mexico are governed by WBC rules with three additions to the unified rules that we're accustomed to. Now, in the event of a clash of heads, if it's accidental, the uninjured fighter loses one point. Of course, if it's intentional, he'd lose two points. Any incomplete rounds at the end of the fight would have to be scored by the judges. Also, we have open scoring after the fourth round and the eighth round. The fans here and all of you at home will be told the official scoring. And finally, there is an instant replay tonight, but only for fouls. A panel comprised of four WBC and Mexican officials can review anything they want and overrule the referee. And we're now ready for this welterweight fight. Luis Abregu versus Richard Gutierrez. And let's get the official introductions from Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome. Y a todos mis amigos mexicanos, bienvenidos, aficionados al box desde Monterrey, Nuevo León, México. Tenemos una gran noche de boxeo. Well, fans, our big night of action coming away here in Monterrey, Mexico, is all brought to you by Gary Shaw Productions in association with MBM Entertainment. El gobierno del estado de Nuevo León, vive México, Corona, and Showtime. This special attraction also made possible by De Cubis Presents. Ahora tenemos una atracción especial sancionada por el CMB, Presidente José Suleiman, Supervisor Carlos González. Introducing to you our judges scoring from ringside, presentando a los jueces. Javier Camacho, Omar Mintun, and Ernesto Saldivar. And our third man of the ring, our referee in charge, El Referees, Roberto Ramirez, Jr. All right, fans, here we go. Scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing. Bien amigos, presentando 10 asaltos por el campeonato FECAR Box Peso Welter. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing silver trunks with gold trim. He weighed in at 147 pounds. Presentando en la esquina azul, con un peso de 147 libras. His record stands at 24 wins, three losses and one draw with one no decision, and 14 wins coming by way of knockout. Tiene un record de 24 victorias, tres derrotas, un empate y un sin concurso, con 14 ganadas por knockout. 
from Miami, Florida, by way of Arjona, Colombia. Aquí está Richard, el Toro Gutierrez. Vamos. And his opponent across the ring, on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing light blue trunks. He weighed in the same weight of 147 pounds. Su oponente en la esquina roja, pesando 147 libras, ranked the number six world contender. His record stands at 28 wins, no losses, 23 wins coming by way of knockout. Su record, 28 victorias sin derrota, con 23 de ellos por knockout. Clasificando número 6, peso welter del CMB de Salta, Argentina. Demos la bienvenida al invicto Luis Carlos, el potro Abregu. Once again, a referee in charge, Roberto Ramirez Jr. No problem, I know it. Okay, gracias. Come on, ven. Maupi, ¿lo tienes puesto? Yeah. ¿Lo tienes puesto? Ya. Yeah. Bien. Maupi, puesto. Bien. Esto es una pelea de asalto, esto es una pelea por el campeonato. Ya ustedes saben las reglas, se la acabo de leer en el camorino. Yo quiero una pelea limpia. Acuérdense, de cuando digo break es un paso para atrás sin tirar. Todo el tiempo voy a descansar mis comandos, pero nunca me miren a mí. Mantengan la mirada en el oponente, ¿ok? Dios los bendiga. Choquen guantes. Bien. Richard Gutiérrez. 31 years old, yesterday in our meeting. Echoing what you said at the top of our broadcast, Al, you could feel the sense of urgency. He knows that this is a must win and his career hangs in the balance. Meanwhile, Abregu trying to remain perfect. Major stepping stone from him for him against a talented fighter like Gutierrez. You know, Gutierrez used the word uh, do or die when he talked to us the other day, and it is that for him he believes. Gutierrez, the kind of fighter that wants to come at you from the very beginning. Geography is important in this fight. If Gutierrez is on the outside, he he has a good chance to lose. If he's on the inside, he has a very good chance to win. Abregu wants to keep him on the outside with his jab and land those kind of right hands. Abregu has very good power with that. Gutierrez, eight-year pro, veteran at 147 pounds. He's fought some very good fighters, including Joshua Clotty, who went on to win the IBF welterweight world title and is getting ready to take on Manny Pacquiao. Also, Alfredo Angulo. He's coming off a 10-round decision loss against Miami prospect Antoine Smith in his last fight. So far, Gutierrez had not, has not yet really gotten inside the way he wants. And, and, Abregu is keeping him on the outside with the jabs and getting him some mixed right hands. But there's the Gutierrez jab, which he needs to use as he walks in. Abregu coming off a fourth round knockout win in Argentina against Diego Diaz in his last fight in September of 2009. Confidence growing. Not the banger that Gutierrez is, but very technical. That's more combinations than I'm used to seeing from Abregu. He is not normally that much of a combination puncher. That will serve him well against Gutierrez. There's the hook from Gutierrez. He really wants to land that punch. And that short left hook got Abregu's attention. He tied him up. Right hand, followed by a stiff jab, Abregu. Gutierrez in the silver trunks, always in tip-top condition. He's changed trainers. Yes, both men actually have new trainers. Orlando Cuellar, who also trains Glenn Johnson. He flew in here tonight from a fight with Glenn last night. And uh, he's new, and also Hector Roca training Abregu. But Hector Roca can't be here for this fight, unfortunately, for Abregu. He's training a, a woman who is fighting for a championship career. Good left hand by Gutierrez and a right hand by Abregu. So this thing's heating up. Many experts ringside feel that this fight will be short. Nice right hook by Abregu.
as he goes around the guard of Gutierrez. And that is really effective for him. Abregu trying to put his punches together early on. And a very aggressive first round. Let's take a look at the keys to victory. Abregu often keeps his hands down.